Hello there and welcome back. Today I'm going to the thrift store. I have mentioned in previous videos that I actually do a fair amount of thrifting and adding things to my wardrobe via that thrifting process and uh, I really enjoy it. I actually really enjoy going to the thrift store and kind of digging around a little bit. I kind of have a loose idea of the things that I'm looking for, but I'm also not like desperate to just bring stuff home. So I just kind of enjoy seeing what kind of deals and steals I can find. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm actually kind of interested in finding some cargo pants. I have been seeing cargo pants popping up a lot and all these 90s and early 2000s fashion trends that are coming back around. It makes my heart so happy because that's when I was a teenager and it makes me want to buy all those things. So I would love to find some cargo pants. I actually thought about making myself a pair of cargo pants, but I don't know if I'm ready to invest fully yet in that trend. I kind of want to find something like a cheaper alternative if I can and try out the trend a little bit before I go all in on it. So anyway, that's kind of my game plan for the thrift store today. I'm just gonna try to hit my two favorites, which are St. Vincent de Paul and the Volunteers of America thrift store and um, see how it goes. So let's, let's do some thrifting and thanks for coming along with me. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I actually found a lot of stuff in there. I usually don't find that much. That was kind of one of those rare trips where I actually found some things. And I think I'm just gonna run over to the St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. It's kind of close to downtown Lansing. They're kind of a smaller thrift store, so it's easier to kind of get in and get out. But I really like their thrift store a lot. It's very well curated and um, they even have like a little vintage section. They usually have a lot of furniture. For a small store, it really packs a punch. They have a lot of stuff. And put my hat back on. It's actually kind of cold today. Test, test, do we have a sound? We do, okay, so, oh, let me move this out of the way. Man, that is so handy. All right, so now I wanna show you the pieces that I thrifted, and I have kind of a couple of thrift flip ideas for some of these pieces. I got the pants for like less than $2 a piece. They were having a 75% off sale on all of the pants, on women's pants. And then I also found several sweaters. I think all of the yeah, all of the tops that I got are sweaters. I really hit the jackpot with the sweaters and I really like finding sweaters at the thrift store because you really can find some really, really nice sweaters for really affordable. I found one that had still had tags on it. A couple of these are like nicer name brand garments. So anyway, I will commence with showing you what I got and the plans that I have 
for these pieces. This chartreuse number here, this little turtleneck, the brand was called Madison Gray. I don't think I've ever heard of that brand before. And it was new with tags. Like it was brand new with tags. And I love when I find something brand new with tags at the thrift store, that is such a find. And I mean, I think I paid maybe five or $6 for it. It wasn't very much. And I was like immediately drawn to this, this shirt for the color. This is a type of shirt that, you know, I could make a shirt like this for myself, but this type of knit and the construction of this is just so much nicer than anything I could really make for myself. I think it looks cute tucked into my high-waisted kind of like mom jeans. And I think it would look cute with my other jeans as well. So I really like it with the boots. I wear these kind of lug sole boots all winter long. I feel like they're cute and stylish, but they're also kind of heavy duty and I can get out in the snow in these and I don't have to hear my husband telling me to like put on practical shoes when I wanna wear cute shoes. <laughs> so I feel like they kind of like, meet that balance between practical and cute. And anyway, I wear these shoes all the time. And these jeans are Madewell jeans. Madewell has been one of my favorite jeans brands to buy from recently. Not long after I bought these, I actually started lifting weights and, you know, being more active. And I did lose a little bit of, I actually didn't lose weight. I lost inches on my waist and my hips. And I actually could have bought a size down when I bought these anyway. So I did have to alter these quite a bit. I've taken them in along the side seam and in the waist and just really, really love the fit of these. So yeah. Okay, on to the next sweater. So this is a Tommy Hilfiger sweater in excellent condition. And when I saw it, I was like, ooh, okay, I kind of like that. And when I got into the dressing room, I almost didn't even try this, this sweater on because I was kind of looking at it. I was like, gosh, I just feel like it's going to be too like big and boxy and possibly kind of hot because it's like a kind of heavy sweater. But I tried it on and as soon as I did, I really, really liked it a lot. And it's just cotton. It's not wool. So it's very comfortable against the skin. And again, I probably paid like five or six dollars for this this shirt and these little booties are these might be dr shoals booties i actually really like dr shoals shoes actually let me just check yeah these are dr shoals and no what are these yep they're dr shoals okay so these are dr shoals shoes their shoes can be a little like on the chunky side but they're so comfortable and i mean they're dr shoals so what do you expect but yeah i really like these little booties so yeah okay now this sweater is from Express. And this one to me seemed like it was brand new. Like it felt like it was barely worn. I think it looks really cute, all tucked in. I really love the color. It's this very dark kind of marled green color. Like it does lean into that sort of 90s, early 2000s vibe that is really trending right now. I definitely am all on board with the 90s and the early 2000s because that's when I was a teenager. And that is when I was kind of just starting to really drool over fashion. I mean, even when I was a young, young girl, I really loved clothing. I really loved fashion. I was always looking at magazines and really just inspired by fashion a lot. At one point I did think that I wanted to go to fashion design school, actually for a while. I thought I wanted to go to fashion design school. And then, you know, as I started kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to do, architecture came into the picture and that just seemed like a lot more practical. I, there was also an architecture program at the college that was close to my hometown. So that is the kind of career path that I took. I think if I had gone into fashion, I probably would have thought, oh, I probably should have gone into something else. I don't know why, but I think that's just kind of something people do. So I'm glad I went into architecture, but I've always kind of had you know, a desire to pursue fashion in some way or another. So it's really funny that I've kind of ended up here designing sewing patterns and then also sharing, you know, styling content here on YouTube. <laughs> and it's not something that I necessarily thought I would be doing, you know, if you'd asked me like 10 years ago, but I'm really happy that I ended up here because I love this stuff, like playing dress up and finding little treasures, especially thrifting, I think really plays into that desire to find something special and kind of make it into something that is really fun to wear. I do feel like all of my kind of teenage fashion dreams are starting to come true because I get to just play with clothing almost every day, all day. It's amazing. I love it. So anyway, enough rambling. All right. Now this shirt was a bit of a wild card for me. I saw this on the rack and my first thought was vest. And I'm not really super into the super, super frilly frills on the shoulders here. Um, but I also don't super hate it. 
And I was kind of checking out the construction of this and I thought I could potentially remove one of the ruffles, like this one underneath. I was kind of seeing how it was sewn into the shirt. Um, I think I could probably remove it and only have just the one little frill here and it might even lay a little bit flatter. Like I keep messing with it. Like there's just no way I'm going to be able to wear this out of the house and not feel kind of like I've got a lot going on here. <laughs> but um, yeah, this one was one I was kind of on the fence about and I tried it on in the dressing room and I just, I just kind of liked it. So I'm going to play around with this one and see how I like it because um, yeah, I do kind of like it. And the brand is who, what, where. So yeah, a little bit of a wild card, but we're having fun here. And again, it was like five or $6. All right, so now I wanna talk about the pants that I found. So these are a pair of, I think Lee, like khaki chino style pants. And they're a little bit too big for me, but I have a plan <laughs> to thrift flip these into a pair of cargo pants. These are probably one to two sizes too big for me. I usually run a pant size around 10 or 12. And I think these are size 14, but I like the way they fit in the hips. I feel like the hips is a nice relaxed fit. They're very comfortable. And I thought, okay, I could do like a super relaxed fit and let them kind of sit low on the hips. I feel like that's just not, not my thing right now. I like a little bit higher waist. I feel a little bit more comfortable in a higher waist. I feel a little bit more secure. So I think I will kind of try to take them in at the waist so they'll sit an inch or so, half an inch below my belly button. And I think that'll be a nice rise for me and the types of things that I wanna wear. So I've been seeing a lot of images. I'll put some images up here on the screen for cargo pants. And I mentioned at the top of the video that I was looking for cargo pants and I did find a few pair of cargo pants but they weren't the right size. And I actually tried on a pair of men's cargo pants at the store, but the rise was just kind of weird. It was just kind of funky in the crotch and nobody wants that. But I was thinking after I tried these on, I really liked the overall shape and fit of these. So I found another pair of pants that were almost identical in color. The, the material is a little bit different, but I think that they will work just fine. So I found these Dockers khakis and these are also a size 14. And I did not try these on. Um, however, they do fit pretty well and I will put them on and show you really quick. All right, so here are the Dockers khakis that I found. And again, these are a size 14, so they're just a little bit too big for me. I would also need to take in the, the waist just a little bit. So I think this will be actually a really cute pair of shorts for the summer. So I'm planning to cut these off into shorts and then just use the parts of the legs that I cut off to create the pockets for these other pants. They're both in really excellent condition too. That's another thing. I mean, these feel like they're almost brand new. So I'm really looking forward to flipping these both into pants that I will actually wear and really enjoy, I think. The first thing I want to do is take in the waist of these pants and I need to get access to both of the side seams and to do that I'm just going to remove the belt loops and the waistband along the side seam and the back waist. Once the top of the pants is free from the waistband, I can take in the side seams. Starting at the waist, I'm just going to take in about a half an inch and taper that down to the hip of the pants at the side seam. I'll also use my serger to clean up the raw edges. You don't have to do this. You could just use a zigzag stitch on a regular sewing machine to overlock the edges. And this is just going to help keep the seam allowance from fraying. The interior portion of these pants have a piece of elastic for the waistband. I just wanna separate that from the top of the waistband and I'm going to trim the waistband in half here. This is going to allow me to re-sew the center back waistband, taking out the same amount of ease that I took out of the side seams. Then I'll trim down and refold that waistband at the center back, and I'm just going to kind of trim down this elastic and then overlap it instead of sewing it together to help reduce bulk. And I want to go in and re-top stitch that elastic to the top of the waistband. I also want to reattach the center back belt loop that I removed totally so that I could access that center back. And now I've just sandwiched the waistband over the top of the pants and pinned it in place really well. And I'm going to top stitch that in place over at the sewing machine, right along that same seam line where I seam ripped earlier. And I'm making sure to keep the belt loops out of the way for this step. Then I'll go back in and top stitch those down with a bar tack to secure the belt loops again to the pants. And here is how the finished waist looks.
Now I just want to create pockets for the side of the pants. Now these are the other pants. These are those Dockers pants that I showed you earlier. And I'm gonna cut these off into shorts first. So I've measured down about five inches. I know that that'll be plenty of inseam for me for a pair of shorts. And I'm just lining these up with the bottom of my cutting mat so I can get them straight. And I'm cutting straight across at that five inch mark. I'll set aside these shorts for now and I'll come back to them another time and start working on the pockets for my cargo pants. I'm going to be using the leg pieces to create the pockets and I've used the hem of the pants as the top of the pocket to keep me from having to finish that and I created two pieces of fabric for each flap, sewn it right sides together, flipped it right side out and top stitched around the edges to finish that off. I also folded under the edges of the pocket piece and I'm just gonna top stitch that directly to the pants leg. I also tried on the pants and pinned the pockets in place to decide on the perfect placement for these pockets. In order to make it easier to sew the pockets on, I'm just going to seam rip the inseam of the pants open. This will allow me to lay the pants flat along that side seam so that I can lay the pocket on top of that and it'll make it easier to sew the pocket on. So I'm just pinning the pocket to the side of the pants and I've also got the flap pinned on here. I'm going to sew around the perimeter of the pocket on three sides. I've sewn the flap down at the bottom edge and then I'm just going to fold that down and press it. And then I will top stitch across the top of the pocket flap where I have it folded, making sure not to stitch across the top of the actual pocket opening. The last step is just to realign the inseam of the pants right sides together and sew it along the same seam line that they were sewn at before. I'm also going to clean up the seam allowance with my serger. Again, you don't have to do this, totally optional. Okay, and here are the finished pants. I'm actually really happy with these. Looking in the mirror, I think they look great. And sometimes when I try something on and look in the mirror and then I see it on camera, I see it a little differently. So um, we'll see if I still like it when I see it on camera. And I'm not gonna put any buttons on here or buttonholes on the pocket flap because I kind of like it to look a little bit more clean. The waist fits perfect now. I like the rise a lot. So these are my Tevas, just some black. Actually, these are not actually Tevas. These are like knockoff Tevas that I got on Amazon. Um, but I wore these a lot last summer and I'll probably will continue to wear them this summer. And I think they're kind of, you know, I, kind of, I think they kind of fit the vibe of the cargo pants, maybe white Birkenstocks or some kind of platform Birkenstock looking shoe. I think that would be really cute with a pair of pants like this. And I pulled a bunch of my like spring and summer tops from my kind of storage area up in her loft. And so maybe I'll try on a couple of those and show you different options for styling this with different types of shoes. And I don't know, I think this is kind of fun. This is an easy project, easy thrift flip, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Right, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm actually really thrilled with how these pants turned out. Trying on all of these tops with these pants today and trying out different shoes and just kind of playing dress up with them got me really excited about them. This is a trend that I'm really glad is coming back into style. The last time I wore cargo pants was definitely in high school. I really enjoyed looking through like Delia's catalogs. If you guys know, then you know. And I do remember we had a babysitter that was kind of like a skater girl and she would like bring around these kind of interesting zines like magazines you know they kind of catered to like skater kids and i just thought that was so cool i wasn't that cool when i was in middle school and high school but anyway so this kind of style brings back a lot of memories for me from things that i was really into when i was in high school and middle school and like people that i looked up to and the types of fashion that i really aspired to i really wanted to have like wide leg pants chunky shoes and 
baby tees. That was kind of like my goal in middle school and early high school. So yeah, this was a fun little thrift flip. It turned out really cute. I'm actually really happy with it. And it was one of those that while I was working on it, I was starting to feel a little discouraged because I was getting tired and I really wanted to squeeze it into this video. But now that it's done, I'm super excited with how it turned out. I think it looks good with a lot of the things that are already in my wardrobe, which is one of the things I'm really striving to continue doing, just adding things that are going to complement the things that are already in my wardrobe, but still giving myself opportunities to kind of step outside the box and try new things. So... Anyway, maybe you'll be seeing these styled with more things in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I release new videos in the future. All right, I think that's all I have for you today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.